Stuart Mobile Geeks and we're here at the ASUS booth at Computex 2014 where we're taking a look at the new ASUS Chromebook C300. So here it is. It's obviously running Chrome OS on a 13.3 inch screen which is a 13 by 66 7 by uh, 768 resolution screen which I'm not altogether that impressed with. You can see the viewing angles. They're not fantastic, it's not very bright, it's definitely one area where this uh, machine is, is kind of could cost a little bit, but then again considering this is a $249 and upwards kind of machine, that's not so bad I guess. Inside here you're getting an M2830 Intel Baytrail M Celeron CPU which is clocked at 2.42 gigahertz, it's backed by 2 gigabytes of RAM, you're also getting 16 gigabytes of storage. In terms of connectivity we have Wi-Fi, GN and AC, uh, plus Bluetooth 4.0. The whole thing weighs in at 1.4 kilograms, which I guess is reasonably light for a device of this size. Let's just uh, close the lid here and go around the device. You see here obviously there's a Kensington lock to stop me from stealing it. And this is a USB 2 port, that's all you're getting over here. I guess this is handy for your keyboard or mouse. Around the front of the device we've got nothing else. But on the opposite side we see the headphone jack, full size SD card reader. This is a USB 3 port, uh, super speed. And this is your HDMI out. The finish on the top of the device is actually not that bad. It doesn't tend to uh, cling to fingerprints too badly. We have the Google Chrome logo in the corner, the SUS logo in the middle. It's not a bad finish at all, although it is plastic. It's trying to give you a kind of faux aluminium or perhaps chrome metallic kind of finish. We have a battery in here. It is a 48 watt hour battery. Uh, it's non-removable as you can see. There's no way we can get that out. Nothing else to know really. We can't access any of the drives or, or add more memory ourselves very easily. We don't have any little trap doors or anything like that. Let's just go back to uh, open this up again. The keyboard itself is, it does have some give in the chassis that you can feel it, but the chiclet keys are quite bouncy and feel not so bad. I guess this, this is a nice large trackpad here with two integrated buttons either side. It's positioned reasonably well, I guess, so that you can, uh, yeah, it's not bad. That's, that's quite nice. My main issue with this device is the fact, I mean, I really think most laptops today should be touchscreen. This is not touchscreen. And this is one area I think kind of lets the device down. It just lacks any kind of brightness. You're going to be totally screwed outdoors. The viewing angles are not great. And to be honest with you, it, it just really kind of looks quite cheap. But hey, for $249, maybe this is what we kind of should expect. Also, I guess one thing which is a little bit disappointing is only 16 gigabytes of storage, which is okay for a tablet or even a smartphone. But uh, in terms of in terms of a notebook, maybe we need a bit more. That, although Google is giving you 100 gigabytes free on a Google Drive for two years. I can just mention the webcam as well. The webcam actually, we believe, is maybe just, yeah, this is just a very poor kind of one, maybe two megapixel webcam. It's basically just for doing Skype, maybe it'd be okay. Anyway, there we have it. This is the Asus Chromebook C300. We're at Computex 2014, and if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe. Hi, this is Stu from Mobile Geeks and we're here at the ASUS booth at Computex 2014 where we're taking a look at the new ASUS Chromebook C300. So here it is. It's obviously running Chrome OS on a 13.3 inch screen which is a 13 by 66 7 by 768 resolution screen which I'm not altogether that impressed with. You can see the viewing angles. They're not fantastic, it's not very bright, it's definitely one area where this uh, machine is, is kind of could cost a little bit, but then again considering this is a $249 and upwards kind of machine, that's not so bad I guess. Inside here you're getting an M2830 Intel Baytrail M Celeron CPU which is clocked at 2.42 gigahertz, it's backed by 2 gigabytes of RAM, you're also getting 16 gigabytes of storage. In terms of connectivity we have Wi-Fi, GN and AC, uh, plus Bluetooth 4.0. The whole thing weighs in at 1.4 kilograms, which I guess is reasonably light for a device of this size. Let's just uh, close the lid here and go around the device. You see here obviously there's a Kensington lock to stop me from stealing it. And this